Hi, this is Jason Levine, and in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe Audition CS6 to perform cut a cutting the power type operation on your audio files. This is also known sometimes as sort of cutting the power on the turntable. And you hear this a lot when you listen to commercials or radio or television, where someone's speaking or there's a sound effect and it suddenly has this abrupt, well, a sound like the power's been cut. So they could be talking and suddenly it goes like that. <laughs> and you have to sort of do these, you have to simulate these yourself to really understand what it is that you're looking for. Well, I've gone ahead and recorded a sound that sounds something just like that. And here's just, it's a single tone like this. Okay, so effectively I want that to, I'm going to use this as a transitional effect, and I want it to basically sound like like the power is being cut, like we've stopped the turntable. You don't know what a turntable is, Google it. All right, so now in the previous version of Audition, we used to have a pitch bender effect where you could graphically control and modify the pitch over time. Well, while we don't have that in CS6, we have the same functionality. It's just a little bit more buried inside the pitch and stretch effect. So let's go there. I'm going to show you how you do that. So let's go up to effects time and pitch, stretch and pitch process. And when you open up that, this dialog, here's the first thing you're going to see. And actually, by default, it's going to use this isotope radius algorithm. This is great. And if you want to use this same sound effect to maybe shorten this duration, because right now bzzz, is a little bit long, maybe you want that shorter. Again, these transitions are typically very short. You can use that and just stretch it without affecting pitch. Unfortunately, the radius engine doesn't allow you to have a starting pitch and an ending pitch. This is what was great about the previous pitch bender. Well, now if we simply choose the audition algorithm, you're going to see that you have a whole new set of parameters. And the one that you want to pay attention to is this pitch shift one here. So we're going to start with a pitch shift of zero, and then we're going to have a final pitch shift. And this is what allows us to change the pitch over time to, again, simulate that cutting the power style effect. So let's go ahead and drop this to something like minus, say, 22 semitones. And this will, va this will vary depending upon on the source of your signal, but either way, we're dropping the pitch fairly low. I can go ahead and go to my advanced settings here. I'm going to leave these at defaults, but I'm just showing you there's other different things that you can use here. Let's go ahead and preview this. And if we wanted this to, a, to start a little bit later in the file, we could just change the selection. For instance, if I start here, let's go ahead and maybe have the pitch shift start there, go back to our effect stretch and pitch, all of my settings will still be there. That sounds pretty good. Click OK. It processes. And now, literally in a couple of seconds, when I hit play, we have that simulation of the power being cut. Really simple, very effective. And now we could go back and again, use the isotope algorithm or the standard audition one just to shorten the overall duration of the file to make this happen faster. So instead of going, it'll go, like that, all right? Very simple, and again, to do that, we could come up to time and pitch, stretch and pitch, and in this case, we would actually perform a stretch, and we would go, say, to around, let's say, 95%, and again, we could even make this a bit faster, maybe 82%, or you can actually modify by duration. So if I go ahead and click OK on this, now the file is shorter, it happens a little bit faster, and that's how you perform that very simple cutting the power or turning off the turntable style effect in Adobe Audition CS6.